Magandang nga mga po sa inyong lahat. For those who don't know me yet, no, ako ay si Zekaray Daniel Valdez Garcia. Or you can just call me Zaki. So, some of you may be wondering, why am I here today? Why am I on this stage in front of you? Well, today I would like to share this message about who Jesus is throughout the Bible. Well, don't get me wrong at first because I know that a lot of you have already heard about Jesus through stories, teachings, parables, and even in your readings. But I know that there are a few of you still searching in the pages of the Bible, scratching their heads, wondering, who is Jesus throughout the Bible? So today, I would like to have this opportunity and this great privilege to share this message about who Jesus is throughout the Bible. Starting in the Old Testament. In Genesis, Jesus Christ is the breath of life. In Exodus, he is the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is the high priest. In Numbers, he is the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he is the captain of our salvation. In Judges, he is our judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In first and second of Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. In first and second of Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Ezra and Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of the broken down walls of human life. In Esther, he is our Mordecai. In Job, he is our everlasting redeemer. In Psalms, he is our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In Songs of Solomon, he is our loving bridegroom. In Isaiah, he is our Prince of Peace. In Jeremiah, he is the righteous branch. In Lamentations, he is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he is the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, he is the fourth man in the fiery furnace of life. In Hosea, he is the faithful husband forever married to the backslider. In Joel, he is the baptizer of the Holy Ghost and fire. In Amos, he is the burden bearer. In Obadiah, he is mighty to save. In Jonah, he is our foreign missionary. In Micah, he is the messenger of beautiful feet. In Nahum, he is our strength and shield. In Habakkuk, he is God on evangelist, crying, Revive thy work in the midst of these years. In Zephaniah, he is our savior. In Agai, he is God's last restorer of his heritage. In Zechariah, he is the fountain opened in David's house for the sinned and unclean. And in Malachi, he is the righteous stone rising with healing in its wings. And in the New Testament, in Matthew, Jesus Christ is the King of the Jews. In Mark, he is the servant. In Luke, he is the Son of Man, feeling what you feel. In John, He is the Son of God. In Acts, He is the Savior of the world. In Romans, He is our righteousness. In 1 Corinthians, He is the Rock, the Father of Israel. In 2 Corinthians, He is the Triumphant One, giving victory. In Galatians, He is our liberty. He set us free. In Ephesians, He is the head of the church. In Philippians, He is our joy. In Colossians, 
He is our completeness. In first and second of Thessalonians, He is our hope. In first of Timothy, He is our faith. In second Timothy, He is our stability. In Titus, He is our truth. In Philemon, He is our benefactor. In Hebrews, He is our profession. In James, He is the power behind our faith. In first of Peter, He is our example. In second of Peter, He is our purity. In first of John, He is our life. In second of John, He is our pattern. And in third of John, He is our motivation. And in Jude, He is the foundation of our faith. And in Revelation, He is our coming King. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He is the keeper of creation and creator of all. He's the architect of the universe and manager of all times. He always was, he always is, and he always will be. Unmoved, unchained, undefeated, and never undone. He was bruised and brought healing. He was pierced in his pain. He was persecuted. He died and brought freedom and life. He is risen and brings power. He reigns and brings peace. The world couldn't understand him. The armies couldn't defeat him. The school couldn't explain him. The leaders couldn't ignore him. They couldn't kill him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. He couldn't crush him. The people couldn't hold him. He could not be silenced. You can't replace him. He is alive, love, and longevity. He is goodness, kindness, gentleness, and God. He is holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, and pure. His ways are right and His words are eternal. His will is unchanging and His mind is on me. He is my Redeemer, my Savior, my God, my peace, my joy, my comfort. He is my Lord and He rules over my life. 